Hi, I'm Sharon Marshall Lockett, author of Surviving Separation and Divorce, with a subtitle of How to Keep Going When You Really Don't Want To. Now you can imagine that if I've written a book by this title, I must have had my heart broken. Within a 13-month period of time, I went through four major deaths in my family, one of them my infant son, and within one month of burying my baby, my husband, whom I adored, hit the bars and never, ever came back home. I found my heart broken. I found I didn't want to survive, but I had a two-and-a-half-year-old, and he deserved to live. Sometimes he was the only reason that I lived. But I've learned that God always gives you a reason for hope. And today, I lead the Divorce and Grief Recovery Program at the Crystal Cathedral, helping other people find that hope. You know, one of the tools we use at Crystal Cathedral is journaling. We always give you journal topics. And I came by that really naturally because my journaling turned into books. The first book I wrote was about my son who died. It was Justin Heaven's Baby. And I would get up in the morning to write Justin's story just to hold on to his memory, just to say in spite of my life, his life was worthwhile. I would get up early in the morning and write until I was sobbing uncontrollably. And I would think, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. I'm never going to do it again. I'd compose myself and somehow get through my day and get up the next morning and do it all over again. That process went on for nine months, and in the process, I felt like I had given birth to my son all over again. But the process of grieving, of crying on paper, which is really what journaling is, transformed Justin from my tragedy on earth to my treasure in heaven. Someday we'll meet again, and that makes this mother heart glad. Now, the process of writing my next book, Surviving Separation and Divorce, which is the text we use in Divorce and Grief Recovery, was a whole different story. This was from my divorce, and I didn't want it, and God was silent, and I wondered where he was, and I wondered if he cared. This is written to those who are in the state of shock, and you can't think, and you can't follow the theme of a book that has to be read from cover to cover. And it's written to help you hold on until you can find hope again. The process of writing this book, of crying these tears on paper, transformed me from the victim of my circumstances to the overcomer. It is my privilege today to pay it forward, to say thank you to those people who invested in me when I couldn't invest in myself by leading the Divorce and Grief Recovery Program at the Crystal Cathedral. If you live anywhere near Garden Grove, California, I'd like to invite you to join us. Call 714-971-4084. That's 714-971-4084 to find out when our next workshop is and give yourself the gift of recovery. You know, they say that joys are multiplied and sorrows divided when you share them with friends. This is the gift that I wish I had been able to give myself. Now, if you don't live near Garden Grove, I've written a teacher's guide to help you develop your own program if God is calling you to minister to those whose hearts are broken. We can help you with that. It's the Leader's Guide. You can check us out at divorceandgriefrecovery.com or you can go to crystalcathedral.org, look under Care Ministries at Divorce and Grief Recovery. We'd love to have you join us. Give yourself the gift of recovery and may God bless you, the God of new beginnings and second chances.